Hello everyone and welcome back to another Blade X Lord video. I actually wanted to do this video on Sunday, but when the new content came out, I had troubles connecting in the menu. I just kept freezing or just being stuck on the connecting screen and nothing seemed to work for me, so I just called it a night. Then on Monday, I got slammed at work and just didn't really have the energy to make content. So here we are on Tuesday, I'm putting up this video and the content, the Deca Trials content is actually the ending tomorrow on Wednesday evening so you only have today and tomorrow to do this but uh, I still wanted to do this video I still wanted to kind of share this information with you but I, I also want to mention that many of you will actually have done this more than I have so if you have tips for everybody else then feel free to share these in the comments below and then that way everybody can get all the important information that if, in case I miss anything but that being said I am going to go through the deck of trials and some of the strategies and, and kind of just do an overview of what it is and if you haven't started yet it's time to start grinding The Deca Trials aren't that different from the Knight's Order Trials that we were already doing. However, there are going to be some key differences including a new currency and new moves that the boss will be using. There's also going to be no auto looping on this mission. You're just going to be playing the missions and trying to score as highly as possible. So we're going to go over how you can do that. So if you remember from the trials, the maximum break damage you're going to do the time it takes you to complete the trial, the number of times you break the boss, and also the amount of damage that you've taken are all going to affect your total score. And you can actually focus on one of these rather than try to go for all of them. Although the better your team is, the better you're gonna do at all these different things. So for example, the max break damage is going to be a little bit different than trying to break an enemy as much as possible because people that are set up to break might not do as much damage as the damage dealers that you have. So you have to kind of pick and choose where you're going to go, although both of those together, breaking as much as possible and dealing as much damage when you're breaking somebody, will end up giving you a shorter complete time and then therefore a better score. The damage received is not something that I've seen online that you want to be going for necessarily, but there are some things you can consider uh, if you're using the uh, defensive buff before a big attack. That's if you can spare the brave gauge. If you can't, then you need that for breaking, then don't. And this boss is also going to apply poison to you, so if you have poison resist, then that might be an okay option. I have not tested that, but you cannot do that at the expense of your sigils or at the ex expense of any important boost that your accessories are giving you. So other than that, there is going to be some new rewards that we can take a look at and the will be purchased with the Knight's Badges. So the best one here is a unit and it's quite a bit of Knight's Badges. You can see I only have 40, I've just started, but you're going to get somewhere between, you're going to get up to like 700 thousands of, of these Knight Badges at the end of the event after it's over, but you also have to be earning them through the rewards. So if you want to get Lily, you do have to rank pretty highly. So we'll take a look at my rank in just a second here, but let's take a look at the rest of the store. So there's some good stuff like the Scroll of Secrets, and those are pretty expensive as well. Legend Stars and Hero Stars are cheap. These are good deals, uh, although you do need a lot of them, and the training manual as well, although you can farm. So anything you can farm is a little less important. This is going to be where a lot of people might spend their points, which is for the forest team. If you want to upgrade a forest weapon, then these are all going to be used for the final limit break, so that's pretty important. Otherwise, we can take a look at the actual trials. So here you can see the people that have actually ranked very highly, and we should also mention, I love that name, Sakodin, great game series, would make a really good gacha game too. The people that are cheating, and you've probably heard about this by now, there's, there's people that are, are using whatever methods to cheat, maybe their might is unreasonably high or their might is unreasonably low for where their score is, and that has been announced that they're monitoring that, they are going to be removing people, we don't know when, so you might actually shoot up some ranks if they are removing some cheaters. But here you can see right now the 
best that I've done is uh, I'm a great swordsman. Thank you very much, Blade X Lord. And my high score is 144,254 points. So right now I am going to get a title. I'm going to get 850 Knights badges and I'm going to get some gold. Ex uh, these are gold material summons. So that's pretty good. But you can get better than that if you can rank up. So right now I'm a great swordsman and I would like to get up higher if possible because you can get some really, really good rewards like these Deca Blades, uh, but also you're going to get the Knight's Badges that you will need in order to get the unit. So when we actually look at the quests, oh, and there are daily missions for these by the way, so make sure that you're playing these every day. I'm already out of that because I didn't play yesterday because of my, uh, my hectic schedule, but here we are with the actual boss uh, fights and there's four different ones you can do. The one I'm going to show you is this 55,000 one because the 80,000 one takes about nine minutes on this account so we'll just do the one that I can give you a good demo of what it looks like and, and how the thing actually runs. So let's get in here. So my loadout, I'm going to be using my uh, my light team. I've got least lot. Heathbell, Atchel, and Redden, and we're ready to go. One other thing that we need to talk about is these sacred treasures. And to be honest with you, I haven't looked at them that closely. I have looked at what they do. The, they don't seem to have a ranking guide for these anywhere online that I saw, but that's worth looking into in the Japanese wiki. Sometimes it's hard to find things on there, but this is where I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know which one of these are working really well for you. The way that they generally work is that you put down an area that you will have to uh, stand in to get the effects, and some of the effects are going to be based on where you are in the circle. If you're farther outside, you get less effects, and if you're inside, you get more. So the, this is going to encourage you to play play on manual rather than on auto, so there's definitely something to consider there. You can only bring a certain amount of points worth of these as well, so that's also something to consider. So for this one, what we'll do is we won't bring any healing ones, uh, but we will try this cooldown one. And we're also going to try uh, a regen. Nope, we don't need I don't think we're gonna need healing for this one, but we'll also try the barrier. And I probably shouldn't be using the super, super rare versions of these. So maybe we'll try instead. Burn. Yep, that looks good to me. And finally, let's take... Okay, there we go. This is the one I wanted to do. Okay, pert. So let's get into this and try it out. Oh, where are <laughs> The cost. Okay. Yeah, you're out. Uh, and we'll go for the lower version of this. Oh no, let's do the Disrupt one. Okay, there we go. And off we go! So again, this this really is, uh, it's it's a short event. The trials prepare you for it. You auto loop, you get ready to go and get ready for the boss. But then this is where you need to be ready to play to be earning the rewards and getting your score up however you can. This re Really think about this as a dry run for when we're actually going to be doing this uh, with better parties on different events. Uh, but here we go. So we've got our Ishtar. We're fighting him right now. I'm going to be doing this on auto for now. And there's going to be something that you'd like to do here, which is click to the side and you want to click focused attack. That's going to make everybody attack the same person as your main party member. And that's important for the ads. You do not want this healer to be healing the boss at all. And I actually have trouble switching targets on PC. So I, when I do this for real, I'm going to do it on my tablet. But we're also going to use a couple of these other attacks as well, or these other, sorry, these other strategies as well. So, so far so good. We're just going to build this up. So let's, we're, we're going to give a try to one of our, let's, let's inflict burn. And you can see that he has a bunch of buffs and uh, some debuffs and the auto seems to be switching targets for me sometimes, but it doesn't always, but you want to focus down that healing is no joke. Oh, and there's a cooldown for these items as well. Okay. I really am pro, eh? Just like, oh, let's let, let's show you how this works, and then when you break, you need to go into hyper mode using all of your skills, uh, soul burst thing if possible, and chaining together so you can get a high break uh, as high high as possible. That's going to be super important for your score. 
So at this point, he's going to use a few different abilities. When you see him put this bubble on, you can take a break here and just, oh, whoops, I went the wrong way. Head over to the left and you're gonna to wanna to use the assemble command. This is going to allow you, and I'm gonna go off auto here, to move my party around. And I'm going to dodge these AOEs so that I can not take damage. And again, this is important for your score, so you're gonna to wanna to be on top of it, which is kinda of cool. This content really favors you not playing on auto, which is really going to be important. I mean, this is important for this game because a lot of, I'm getting, getting a lot of the same sentiment that this game is, there's so much of it happens on auto, and that's why this content is really cool. Okay, so after this, we should be back into it. We'll go back on auto and focused attack, and off we go. So, he's going to use his big special as well that he's used in his other encounter. So, so far things are looking fairly similar. He has a big uh, party-wide attack. He inflicts poison on you. There is a healing mob. So what's new is the AoE that you have to control your party uh, and also there's the the other two mobs that are new that I think you should probably kill. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's attack the Ishtar. So this is where on like some days, I don't know what it is, on PC I can't switch targets and then I'll play for a while and I'll have no problem at all. Uh, switching targets. It won't even, I won't even think about it. But this is actually really good because it's going to give you an idea of how much he's actually healing uh, right now. So we broke him, but the freaking the mob's still up. That's like the closest you're going to hear me swear on this channel is freaking. So enjoy, enjoy that. PG folks. Okay, let's let's go. Let's switch this. Cause you know Lee Slot's uh, AoE is eventually going to uh, eventually going to get this. This is great. This is actually the the most trouble I've ever had uh, switching targets and. I love that it's on a video because I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some comments like, oh, all you have to do is like this or whatever it is. Like there's some easy fix that I'm not getting, but what I'm trying to do is swipe on my screen with blue stacks. There we go. Uh, and I think what gets the problem is that it gets stuck in between me giving the command to move my character and the command uh, just of just like swiping your screen because there's two different versions but there you have it uh, unfortunately he healed a little bit more than we would have wanted him to but what can you do so again like if you if you're playing this on a tablet it's gonna be a little bit easier to auto than it is on blue stacks plus didn't crash this time but my in, in my experience blue stacks will crash uh, when you use when you break any sort of pause in the battle can break uh, can can break your blue stacks can crash your blue stacks unfortunately one thing you can keep in mind if you've been doing a bunch of auto looping on blue stacks close the program restart it from scratch and then go and do your deca trials because the longer the program's been running allegedly that will lead to crashes more often so We've completed the DECA trial, and here we are. We can go do it again as many times as we want and try to better our score, try to get those daily rewards so that we can raise our rank. So I'm gonna be trying to beat this score right here. This is obviously gonna be easier if you have a fire team, but if you don't, then what can you do? So. I know that this isn't a full guide because I didn't really cover the sacred treasures very well and I apologize for that, but you can get on the Mysidia Gaming Discord and we are talking about that kind of stuff in our chat. Uh, that's something that I'm going to be trying out after this video, I'm going to be trying out before the end of the event, so that next time there's a Deca Trials event, I'm going to be I'm going to be here ready to go rather than a couple days late. So. Let me know if you enjoyed the video and please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell so you know when stuff's coming up because I'm going to keep doing some Blade Sword stuff. We'll be doing other stuff on this channel uh, and I just, I really appreciate all the support. It helps me 
it helps me know that everyone's enjoying what's going on and that, that you want me to keep making content. So please consider doing that. All right. So we'll see you in the comments below. Let me know your tips. Uh, let me know what I did wrong. And until next time, thank you so much for watching this video. You can show your support with a like and subscribe and by checking out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Gaming. Until next time, keep it real, Mysidians.